How you doing YouTube? This is Eric R. Music and this is The Truth About Being an Artist, Episode 2, Embrace Failure. Now I help many artists with their careers and one of the most common subjects we discuss at the onset of is uh, all the failure that they've experienced. Now sadly, many of my clients tend to seem to focus on the failures more than they do their successes. And I get it, no one wants to fail. No one wants to feel that the work they've poured their heart into might not be good enough or they in turn might not be good enough. Aside from the personal nature of what failure does to an artist, I'd like to, for you to consider another way of thinking. Consider this, what pushes you to grow more, success or failure? I can say with absolute confidence that my failures have made me the artist I am today. My artist advice for you is embrace your failure. Now the hardest part about failure is that many of us experience it and then we give up. We don't see the point in experiencing pain any longer than we need. It seems more logical to retreat, right? We'd rather create some impervious bubble around ourselves that keeps all the criticism and lack at bay and in turn stops the progress that may be around the corner. Now, I can promise you, if you carry on, the greatest things are on the horizon. No one achieves any measure of success by giving up. Too many of us accept that somebody else's rejection is a means of confirming our worst fears. And what's that fear? Is that we are not good enough. We're not good enough as a person. We're not good enough at what we do. We're not going to be good enough. Understand and recognize that this fear is something that everybody on this earth experiences and you are by all means not at all unique. The way to continue on despite the fear is not to accept that failure is an option. You've gotten this far, someone else's failure is not something we should own. Too many variables factor into failure and similarities are often hard to find. Stop comparing yourself to others, it's damning. I've failed pretty hard over the course of my career, trust me. I've dealt with nasty comments, jealous fools, and many, many gallery rejections. At times I even wondered why. Many times the quality of my work was far better than those who were represented. And I've been rejected from countless juried shows, only to see the winner was far less remarkable. It really is a bummer, I'm not even going to kid you. Trust me, but we are a part of a very uncertain field. Not everyone judges on technical skill, subject matter, or beauty. Judges vote on what appeals to them, and galleries judge on whether or not they can sell your work to their clientele. Oftentimes, it has little to do with the quality or the appeal to your work. You have to just deal with it. Learn to keep moving on until you find your ideal win or your representation that you're looking for. Until then, you gotta grow a thick skin. It will serve you well. And over time, my personal standards have become higher than anyone else can ask of me. I embrace my uniqueness and I celebrate all the blessings in my life rather than focusing on the static in the background. I learned not to paint what I thought may appeal to galleries or judges. I now paint what I am passionate about and that has made all the difference in my success. I love what I do. I absolutely love what I do. I love my subject matter and I feel jazzed every day when I sit down and paint. If you're not feeling that, you'd better start asking why. Looking back, I used to think, if I didn't make it in my 20s, I would never be successful. In reflection, I'm glad it didn't happen that way. I really am. If I had reached the level of success I aspired to in my 20s, I would have never become the artist I am today. Failure drove me to greater success. Rejection made my motivation do more, accept my weaknesses, and improve on them. I've seen so many artists peak early on and then slowly slip into obscurity. Most times these artists are too comfortable and they become confident and lazy. They judge their success on the past and they never push forward. I never ever want to peak. I want to grow old in this profession and continue to get better. I never want to stop demanding better things for myself. Age, time, and failure is not an excuse. When you were first learning how to paint or how to sculpt or draw, did you ever give up after the first time you failed? Of course you didn't. You tried again and again and avoided the failure you made the first time. Artist advice, this is how you navigate the failures of your career. Failures are your greatest blessings. They push you to achieve more. They unlock hidden talents and potential inside of all of us that we never knew we even had. They say that great people aren't born, they're made. The greatest people on earth failed their way to success. Look at Thomas Edison. He failed over 10,000 times before he invented the light bulb. His response to his many failures was that he eliminated all the ways not to create the light bulb. Think about that. 
If that isn't thinking in a glass half full mentality, I don't know what is. No one is asking you to be that persistent. But the lesson to learn here is that the answers lie within you. Success is a road for the persistent. Do not make the mistake of thinking that you are the only one that has ever failed, trust me. More importantly, do not call yourself a failure. Failure only happens if you give up. If you never stop trying, you'll never be a failure. Take it from me. I hope you hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel. We've all been in these situations in life and I hope my video will help you in your circumstances. Take care.